Thank you, Zero Dozer, and everyone who tagged me to this topic. Much appreciated. We got Packer Girl saying Jamie responded to Asmongold. Just as a reminder, Jamie Markey received lots of criticism for her script writing for anime dubs, usually under Funimation, and in particular the infamous Dragon Maid patriarchy line. She got a question about the criticism at an anime convention panel, which she then went on some insane rant over, essentially saying anyone who criticized her is a misogynistic Nazi. She also claimed to be very, very funny, or, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Bunch of bizarre behavior, really. And on top of that, she was also one of the most vocal Kick Vic members, going back to a topic that I covered extensively in 2019, as well as a defendant in the associated lawsuit. Anyways, it's been weird for me to have her name brought up again recently. Like, I was uh, very happy to leave her in the past. As you can see, she's kind of unhinged. So yeah, uh, but alas, she has been in the news again, so here we are. Now anyways, Asmon talked quite a bit about her lines and her terrible response to criticism, and it seems she really didn't like that. Anyways, looks like she went on TikTok and made a one minute video responding to Asmon, where she doesn't really respond to him at all. Instead, she completely deflects the reasonable criticism that she received and tries bringing up some situation with Asmon and some alleged charity controversy thing with some organization named Soft Giving. I don't really know anything about that, just giving you the context. Anyways, she quotes Asmon and says, Somebody makes an allegation against me, and now somehow I have to respond to it? No, I don't have to say anything. Who gives a frick? And that's the quote. So she's quoting Asmon where he apparently said that on stream. The thing is, no one's accusing her. They're simply criticizing her scripts. And that terrible response on a convention panel that I mentioned. In other words, it's just more extremely bizarre behavior from Marky. And I gotta say, once again, and as someone who talked about her antics going on five years ago, I'm kind of concerned for this woman. Not to excuse any of the terrible things that she's done, don't get me wrong. Heck, she had even insulted my appearance in the past for wearing glasses. Full context to that real quick. Years ago, I was having some eye trouble from being on the computer so much, and I wore blue light glasses on occasion, and had some videos where I used a cam. She didn't like one of those videos, I guess, and decided to insult my appearance and the glasses that I was wearing at the time specifically. So yeah. But anyways, despite all that, she seemingly only gotten more unhinged over the years. And I do find that rather concerning. Again, not an excuse for her. It's just kind of sad to see someone going even further off the deep end. Like, look at this as well, from Enigma. It says, I know you guys seen the recent insanity from Marky, but the numbers are unreal. Asmon really kicked the hornet's nest on this one. Wish I had the time slash energy to make 2200 tweets in six days. So this is Jamie Markey's Twitter account analytics for the period between December 22nd and January 4th. And you can see, for a while there, she was tweeting like maybe once or twice a day, give or take, right? And then once this localization topic got brought up again, and people start talking about her patriarchy line and that convention situation again, she has just been going off on people on Twitter making hundreds of tweets a day where she's just like spending all day on Twitter arguing with people. So she's putting in all this effort to not just double down. Now, nah, I made a new term up for her. This is a uh, dozening down because <laughs> I was thinking about it. She surpassed like tripling down and quadrupling down. She surpassed so many things. I'm going right to dozen. She's dozened down. She's dozening down. <laughs> Excuse me, one sec. Okay, had to cut the uh, audio for a second and stop laughing. I've collected myself. I'm a professional here. But nah, seriously. It's just crazy that instead of her admitting that she handled that situation poorly, which I think it's fair to say objectively she did. Like, it's, it's not even really opinion. The, the stuff that she was saying there in response to criticism, Oh, you're misogynistic Nazis. I'm really, really funny. And I have a... Starts going off about her anatomy in front of a bunch of convention guests. Very unprofessional. Very terrible way of handling things. You could use any number of words there that would probably fit appropriately. Ironic, because she handled that very not appropriately. But anyways, instead of acknowledging that, right, and showing that she's grown a little bit over all these years, got, gotten a little bit wiser or something, nah, it's the complete opposite. She's dozening down. She's uh, <laughs> acting as unhinged as ever, if not even more so in some ways. Like, this is, this is pretty exceptional behavior here. And she'd rather just go off all day arguing with people on Twitter, making these weird TikToks, as opposed to having even a semblance of self-awareness. Now let's hop over to her TikTok where she's responding to Asmon or Asmon's followers, whatever she said. See some of the comments there. Might be rather amusing. She thought she did something. Allegation? 
No, it's verified. You push your political views. You can't take criticism. You think anyone who disagrees with you or calls you out as a racist. You forgot misogynistic Nazi on there too. <laughs> Let's check out the comments. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Excuse me, guys. That was hilarious. Freaking, I didn't even have to add it on. I didn't have to add it in. Excuse me. They got it. Or a Nazi. <laughs> Or you think they're just idiotic. You like misery and entitlement. Just put, just put in human flesh. Dang. <laughs> Dang. It's because it's become apparent that you're a violent individual. And over the years, you proved you're unable to work professionally. Staining Funimation's image. Yo, this person went off, man. It's another one, too. But view five more. Oh, my gosh. Funimation claims to not support any type of harassment or threatening behavior directed at anyone but indirectly supports this type of behavior. Do we dare click five more? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, by having no punishment enforced when their employees spread hateful remarks targeted at their loyal consumers and other individuals, you have edited multiple translations of shows you have written on to fit your political beliefs. As the customer, we should expect to not be getting an inferior product in terms of script just because we watch a dub. This man speaking facts here. Oh, <laughs> then he said fact, look at that. Uh, maybe I'm getting too much amusement. I apologize if I'm laughing too much, but this is pretty dang amusing. The fact that your misuse of power as a writer didn't initiate a response from Funimation and got you fired, or at least expelled from this particular position, speaks volumes on Funimation's management and their lack of care for the shows they work on. Continuing, I don't have to reply to it, <laughs> quoting her, proceeds to reply anyways, completely deflecting valid criticism once again. This, Jamie Markey has now proven that she sucks forever. I can't wait for all the localizers to be fired and replaced with AI. Then we have this person talking about some of the people agreeing with her and supporting her in the comments, I believe, saying, it's as I feared, cringe and blind followers. Honestly, the answer to that question during the QA panel did not answer the dude's question at all. Yet you can see some people here trying to defend Jamie Markey or something. For example, this one saying, you inserted your agenda, quote unquote, someone who didn't attempt to understand the original dialogue. Jamie saying, or you know, are too dumb to understand it. How are these people actually trying to argue against the fact that she did insert her agenda in the dialogue? Like there is on record evidence of that occurring and they're like, no, that didn't happen. A lot of simps in the comments and we can see some people <laughs> defending Marky here. I love this so much. I'm screaming. I love this so much. I'm so confused. What happened? And can Asmond hold, just shut up and stay in his lane and let people be? I swear everything I hear his name, it's always drama. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think it was Asmon responding to Marky about the localization changes like in Dragon's Maid, Patriarchy Line. She purposely changed lines in anime to push her political views. Nah, the line was literally already about patriarchy. It was a woman annoyed by people judging her because of her dress and appearance. That's patriarchy. Nah, if the line was about patriarchy, the original Japanese context would have said patriarchy. They didn't. It didn't say that. Marky put it there. Got some more comments defending Marky here. As you can see, let's talk about this one in particular. I don't even understand the problem. Like, who thinks dubs say the exact translation of original all the time? Translators are supposed to translate, not make up new stuff. Then Jamie responds saying, Idiot told them I was a translator and they believed him. I tell them I'm not a translator and they get even madder at me. I love how she has no reasonable response to anything. She just like either deflects, enrages, and or insults people. That said, perhaps some people are a little confused and are conflating Jamie with the typical corrupt localizers that we've seen in other situations. Now, I've been pretty clear about this and her role in my videos, so probably all my viewers already get this, but just to be sure, Marky has a history of working on scripts for anime dubs, as well as holding an ADR director position, often under Funimation. Now, I don't know if she currently still holds these roles, but yeah, this is notable because it places her significantly above like a typical anime localizer or game localizer, etc, etc. And of course, she's also done work as an English voice actress. Anyways, I think you get the point with uh, what she has to say about Asmon and her going off with people and all that, the comments, etc, etc. So I'm going to wrap this one up here. Thank you for tuning in. As always, appreciate you. Consider letting me know your thoughts on this in the comments, and I'll see you there. And if you enjoyed this segment, please consider also liking and or subscribing so we can do this again sometime, like tomorrow. That would be great. See you in the next one.